Okay, my microphone. Oh my god. Oh, I have no idea how long my microphone wasn't working for. I really hope it hasn't been that long. Oh, if it wasn't working throughout the ending for Death Star, I'm going to be really annoyed at that. Okay. So, I have no idea how much I didn't get picked up, so I'll just go through this again. Between now, uh, well, between the end of last stream and now, I grinded up to level 100 and did all the item synthesis stuff and got ultimate weapon. And we're going to do the five optional bosses. So there's Sephiroth and the Ice Titan in Olympus. There's Phantom in Neverland. Unknown in Holobastion and Kurtziza. I think it's called in Agrabah. Unknown and Kurt, I haven't seen yet. I've not looked at them. So I don't know what their deal is. Phantom, we briefly saw. I did look up what the deal with that one is. Like how you're supposed to beat it in. That one might be a pain in the ass. I have no idea how many of these I'm going to be able to actually complete. But we're going to give it a go. I don't think I'm going to beat several. Let's put it that way. Ice Titan, I know I can beat. Because when I was practicing grinding out, uh, when I was grinding out to max level, there's a trick you can do with Ice Titan where you deflect its shots and you get experience for it. And I almost accidentally beat this thing like a couple of times. So I am going to take like a ton of hits during this fight, just because this thing th throws so much, so many attacks at you. But I can basically like tank this shit. to really do is like deflect these ice shots back at it and, and do enough of do it enough times so it'll stun it but every time I deflect them I gain like a little bit of a uh, stuff uh, casting my MP back there we go Let's see how much damage this does now This is ridiculous. I'm doing stupid damage here.
Thankfully, using Cure actually has some invincibility frames on it. Now that I have um, Leaf Bracer, was it? So I've equipped a bunch of these abilities that you press triangle to activate that I've not actually tested yet, so I have no idea if they're any good. I just I, I unequipped a bunch of like passive abilities ones, like increased tech points and. Like increased item drop rates and things like that. I just had a ton of spare points to use, so just equip whatever attack things I've got. Okay, it's down to its final health bar. There we go. It's almost dead. Just a couple more reflections. There we go. Okay, so that's one of the bosses down. So yeah, I knew I could do that one. So what do I get for doing that? Diamond dust. And a trophy. Let's take a look at diamond dust. It's not going to be as good, but... Greatly enhances magic and summoning power. Raises MP by three. Alright. Sure. Uh, do do do. Who next? I'm thinking either I want to leave Sephiroth till last. Let's try. Uh, you know, let's go see what Curses is about. Because I have no idea what that fight is. Uh, Aladdin's house. Save while we're here. Night carpet. Okay. Okay, you certainly look cool. Staying back a little bit just to see what it does. Oh, I can't cast magic. Reactivated my magic, it has. Okay, it's 
dude's health bar is just melting. Okay, so what's the deal here? Is it magic only now? Yeah, I think it's magic only. If I cast wind and get into contact range with you, does it do damage? No, it doesn't seem to. Okay, this is an interesting fight. It's kind of like a change up your strategy mid fight thing. the anti-magic which is fine because we don't have any MP anyway thank you for dropping all the healing balls Almost done. Boom. Awesome. Two down. I like that fight. That's a good fight. Cool idea for a boss. Oh. And some to part 11. Sandy Blade. Because is a... Uh, and some to part 11. Let's take a look see. I'm still missing some. I didn't read 8. <clears throat> Oh yeah, because there's 13 journal entries, isn't there? There is no doubt about... Ah, there is no doubt that the Heartless are deeply connected to people's hearts. Further study may unravel both their motivations and the mystery surrounding the heart. As a start, I have built a device that artificially creates hearts. By recreating the conditions that spawn the Heartless naturally, I should be able to produce them artificially. This device is the culmination of all my research thus far. The machine's tests run successfully. Yeah. The machine's test run successfully created a heartless. The machine's test run successfully created a heartless. Sorry, that sentence. My brain just didn't pass that the first time. This may be a step towards creating a heart from nothing. The artificially and naturally created heartless showed nearly identical traits, but the two types should remain distinct for the purpose of this experiment. So I will mark the ones that are created artificially. Hmm. So those are the ones with the little crest things on them. Um, opening the door to a world's heart causes its walls to crumble. These fragments are seen as shooting stars. This explains why these gummy blocks can travel freely to other worlds. I know the catalyst of this collapse, the appearance of the heartless. However, it will take time to search out the world's doors and to retrieve each heart. Furthermore, the doors can be locked using a keyblade, making the heart forever unattainable. I must take action before the wielder of this key appears in this world. 
If the princesses and the Keyblade are connected, they should resonate. I've chosen a girl. I don't know if she holds the princess's powers, but I will find out. She may lead me to the key bearer. I shall set her free and observe. Hmm. Right, uh... Phantom. Let's try Phantom again. The problem with Phantom is I have to take in Peter Pan with me. So... Uh, which one? I need to talk to Tinkerbell, that's why I need Peter. She's here, okay. Party, let's go with... Take Donald out. And I want to change my magic stuff. Because I need stop quickly available. So, the way this fight works is it casts Doom three times. Starting with Peter, then Donald or Goofy, depending on who you bring with you, and then on Sora. You can stop the countdown for Doom by casting stop on the face of the clock. And Phantom has like the little ball underneath it. And that determines which type of damage you can deal to it. So it's either physical, fire, lightning, or ice. Physical's the only one that actually deals any like health damage to it. So I have no idea how this is gonna go. I have to be really like on the ball with casting stuff. Only when the, the ball turns white that I can do any real damage to it. Stop moving. Yeah, the problem with this fight is it's going to be. Uh... Is that not? I need to get over that. Thankfully, there's only one part of its body to target. One health bar down. I have no idea what that tax actually doing. Oh, it's doing damage over time. Okay. Get back here.
Okay, this seems doable. Okay, just double check my uh, my items. I brought a crap ton of elixirs, so I'm good for recovering my MP. Come on, stay still. Not paying attention now. Can you dodge that at all? back. Stop the clock. I know one, no one's actually doomed yet, but I'm just making sure. Okay, well, I think we're past halfway. I'm trying to think. Calls of the health bar. Okay, now I think we're halfway. Trying to do them like the menuing for magic as fast as you can. Ah, oh, there's just no avoiding that, is there? Again, I know no one's been doomed, but I'm just, I just want to be absolutely certain. So it seems like the stopping the clock is actually like preventing him from using doom in the first place. <clears throat> oh yeah, there's just no avoiding that attack. Down to his last health bar. Oh, shit. Stay still. Yeah, we've got this. Super close. Gotcha, wrong one. Gotcha. That's three down.
Hell yes. Power of time. Stop go. Cloaked shadow. Uh, where's that save point? It was along here somewhere. Was it not? messing with my TV because it's threatening to turn itself off in a few minutes. Why was that save? Ah, oh, there it is. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Bye, Peter. Thanks for the help. Alright, Hall Bastion to fight Unknown and then... Back to Olympus for Sephiroth. Who I th I really don't think I'm going to beat Sephiroth. But I will be happy with four out of five. I need to change some stuff. Let's change you back to Thundaga. And I need to change some items. Okay. The stock is full, I'll just have to discard it. Take out. Unknown is... Ah, there we go. So just straight into this room? Oh, Beast's with us too. Oh? Unknown's one of the organization people. Okay, which one of them is it gonna be? Who are you? Seems you are special too. I am Sam. Oh, is it Zenmus? Supposed to mean They added in, like, stuff from Kingdom Hearts 2 into Final Remix. I'm assuming that's supposed to be Zenimus then? Kind of seems that like they were hinting towards it being him. When he was like, I know that and name Anson. Yeah, I think this moveset is. It's been a while since I've played two. Oh shit, 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 shit. Ah, 
how do I get rid of this? Oh, I can't. Oh, sh okay. Oh. It just has like a thousand fucking moves. Well, it's down to half of his last health bar, so. There we go. Wow, that kind of felt like I was just like. Spamming attacks through the like a wall of blades. It's just like constantly blitzing me with attacks. And I'm just like jabbing through it. Getting the occasional hit in. And because of that I got like crazy attack power and strength. I just managed to look my way through it. God, I almost blew it there as well with the that attack that just took over my like commands. Okay, so that's far out with the five done. Wait, what are you? <laughs> Bye, Zemnus. See you in two games' time. <laughs> XP necklace! Wow. Cool. Anthem's through part 13. He who doesn't exist. An XP fucking bracelet. After I'm already max level. Alright, general. Uh, report 13. Where does the body go when it separates from the heart? If the soul remains within the body, is it still cons uh, considered to be deceased? When the heart returns to the heartless, the physical form disappears. But that is merely true in this world. Perhaps, perhaps in the body, sorry, perhaps the body exists in another form in another world. If that is the case, then it is possible for one to exist in two worlds. Uh, being like that, uh, being that is neither darkness nor light, belonging nowhere, abandoned by its heart, a mere f shell of its former self, and nobody. Oh, it even says nobody there. The relation between the heart and body is complex. However, I am certain that if your self exists here, then by definition the other cannot truly exist. The other, the one which does not exist, shall be dubbed nobody. And will get told repeatedly that they have no emotions, and then watch them emote aggressively at each other. Okay, uh. Coliseum. Sephiroth. I'll give this a few attempts. I don't know how. 
how well it's going to go. But I'm happy with beating the other four. <sighs> Alright, Phil. Let's fuck my shit up. seen this already. Oh god. I've done any damage to him at all yet. I've not done any damage to him yet. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> so I can't deal decent damage to him. Jesus. I almost took off. This might be doable. doing fuck I give up. he just has a move that puts you into a crit stance fuck <sighs> now is that a move that insta kills and I got second wind on or oh, lifesaver whatever it's called a skill that like stops me from being insta killed Dealing damage to him. Well, Kingdom Hearts version of Cloud stands no chance against this, this version of Sephiroth. He fucking blocks my ability to to use magic. Does it get rid of all of my MP as well? Is that what happened? Okay, if I see him do that, I need to get ready with elixirs. Let's try this again. Ah, oh. damn! Sorry. Pop up on my PC screen, get rid of that first. Yeah, okay, cool. Damn antivirus. Trying to upsell me on some stuff. just not hurt him at all for like the first X number of seconds of the fight. Yeah. 
Yes, it drains all of my MP as well. So I need to use elixirs to win this fight. Which means I can get a little excessive with the heals there. Attacks this move. This dude got. Invincibility frames from the heel. Oh, we're almost there. Oh my god, I didn't think I'd actually do it. Okay. Between Ultima Weapon and Level 100. That makes a world of difference. Awesome. I did not think I'd get all five. And it didn't even take that long either. That's the power of the keyblade. Hell yes. Right, so that was the last of the Ansem's reports, I think. That's yep. The trophy for them. Professor. Cool. Wow, I've got four trophies for that, Jesus. Right, Ansem's report, 12. The body's gone, the heart should have returned to the heartless, and yet nothing. This is unlike any other. Its memories remain, and yet it has, that's it, and yet it has yet to take the form of a heartless. A close eye must be kept on the situation, which is still unknown. To get the, to get, bleh, to get the realm of darkness, one must, to get to the realm of darkness, one must go through the doors of Kingdom Hearts, the place where the world's hearts connect. Beyond this world is a place in which darkness reigns. Details shall be archived in a separate report. There are many worlds in existence, some of which we know nothing about. The world in which we live, the realm of darkness, the realm of light, and the world in between, wherein lies true Nirvana. Awesome. Wow, yeah, that's it. We're done.
Oh, okay, let's see. Ooh. I'm glad I decided to leave and not just save and quit out. The Coliseum. I wouldn't bother Cloudy, you don't stand a chance against him. I've been looking for you. As have I. As long as you exist, I'll never wake from this nightmare. You're my darkness. I'm a part of you, am I? Then join me in this eternal nightmare, untarnished by light. God, fucking get a room, guys. Gonna end with Cloud using Omni Slash and then Sephiroth going, Aha, you hurt me, but you didn't defeat me. Goodbye. Nope, we don't get any kind of conclusion. Okay. Fair enough. Alright. We'll save at. Travis Town. And then that's it, we're done. Holy crap. Finish off both Death Star and all the extra bonus fights in Kingdom Hearts. Which means we'll be rolling into two new playthroughs after this. So it'll be Voice of Cards, The Forsaken Maiden, because that came out and I quite enjoyed the first one. And we'll be rolling straight into Chain of Memories as well. So that's going to be the next two games that I play on on the stream. But for now though, we're done. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Cheers. Bye now. Still not used to saying bye. <laughs>